everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to see my community of fellow Lux lovers growing and growing. Thank you for all your support. I have a very, very, very exciting unboxing today. I do want to start by saying that it's not a quota bag, but it is a bag from Hermes. And as you know, I am in the process of familiarizing myself with Hermes and all it has to offer. So hopefully we will see a quota bag unboxing from the boutique soon. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying all the other goodies I am blessed to have. Today's unboxing is very special because it's something unexpected and pretty much a total surprise from my essay. I am sure many of you Hermes enthusiasts can already tell what may be in this box based on the size. So let's get into it. I feel like every time I untie a store fresh ribbon, I get a little giddy. So can you guys guess what's in here? Comment below if you can guess what kind of bag is stored in this little box. By the way, I love reading guesses in other YouTubers' comments. It's so fun. So here we are. Care booklet. Yep, oh, it's upside down. Now I'm sure you guys can guess. It is a mini Evelyn. So beautiful. So here we are. This is our little baby and newest addition to the family. This is the mini Evelyn or the Evelyn TPM in the color black or noir with gold hardware. And this leather is in Clemence leather. Very soft, beautiful leather. My first impression looking at this bag is, oh my God, this mini bag is as cute as a button. And my first time feeling this bag in the boutique was an experience all itself. I mean, the leather is just so smooth. It's like you, you, you kind of just want to pet it all the time. It draws you in, it's so soothing. And the bag is just so malleable. You can tell it's gonna be super comfortable. So on the inside, they probably put the strap, which we'll get into soon. Let's take a look at the lining. This is just a suede uh, raw leather. And on first impression, it's really quite soft. There's no shedding of any kind, and it's really quite smooth. Here's a better look at the grains and the beauty of the leather. Now, I've heard many times from essays and other YouTubers that this is supposed to be the back of the bag, which is where you have the H, the perforated H design, and that this is supposed to be the front of the bag where you have the clasp here. But of course I will be wearing it this way, most likely, because it's just cuter that way. And it adds a little interest too. On this side, you do have the snap closure. And when you flip it back, you can see the Hermes Paris made in France gold stamp, which of course matches the gold hardware. Now the strap comes in its own dust bag. And as you can see, this is essentially like a durable canvas strap with gold hardware. It says Hermes Paris, made in France on the side. And I did try this bag on briefly in store. So when you clasp this onto the D-ring, it's so easy. And the good thing about it is the gold hardware clasps swivel all around like 360 degrees. So you don't have to worry about clasping it on wrong because it'll sort itself out because of the swivel, which is a nice touch. I did notice that this strap is quite long on me though. And so I will have to figure out how to shorten it whenever I'm using this canvas strap. I do intend on wearing this crossbody. 
And speaking of the strap though, that leads me to how I actually acquired the bag and decided to take her home. So I was in the boutique visiting and shopping with my SA when she mentioned that this bag would be great for me. But when she said it, she kind of said, well, what do you, what do you think of the Evelyn? And when I heard just Evelyn, I wasn't too sure because I always pictured the, the big Evelyn size, like the larger size. I'll put in a picture of what I mean. But when she brought it out and I tried on this mini cute bag, it looked adorable and, and, and it felt so comfortable on. I, I was literally sold. So I really think my SA and I have a good relationship. What really sealed the deal for me though was when she demonstrated a way to tie a scarf on as a shoulder strap for this bag and it added so much character to the bag. I just fell in love. I was so impressed that this mini Evelyn could be so versatile and look so differently with a canvas strap versus a silk scarf or a twilly. So this mini Evelyn really turned out to be a very special something for me. I'm actually pretty surprised that it flew under my radar until now, but thanks to my wonderful essay I get to enjoy the bag and literally unboxing it now and seeing it again actually just brings me so much joy because it is so cute and I cannot wait to wear her. I know that this bag is pretty popular in the Hermes community but I guess I just gained an appreciation for the bag now after kind of getting to know it, seeing it in person, being able to try it on, touch and feel the Clemence leather because Sometimes these bags are just so elusive, you, they're barely found in the boutiques and you really don't get the time to appreciate the bag and see if you actually like it. But again, I got lucky. So I'm sure you can guess what's in this box based on my stories. So let's move on to the next unboxing. This item is actually something that I've been eyeing online already. And I was kind of just waiting to go into the boutique to see it in person and make the purchase with my essay. I know you guys probably know what type of item is in this box. It is a silk scarf, very beautiful design. Here she is. Ah! Now I forget exactly the name of this, but I'll put a picture up with the details. Oh, actually it does tell you right on here. This is the Le Premier Chant in these colors. This was just so beautiful online and it definitely didn't disappoint when I saw the scarf in person. And the beauty of this scarf is that Half of the side is filled with vibrant colors. So if you wanted to, you could fold the scarf and wear it in such a way that shows most of the vibrant colors, or you could wear the scarf in a way that shows more of the neutral colors or more so muted down colors. So that's definitely a plus for me. And of course, after watching my essay demonstrate using the scarf on the mini Evelyn. I will definitely be trying that out as well. So I need a little bit of practice, but this is a rough idea of how the <laughs> silk scarf looks tied up on the mini Evelyn. I'm really excited to actually learn how to tie these up better and different tips and tricks using scarves and twillies and other chains. So the next time I will certainly film a review video on this bag and hopefully by then my scarf twisting skills have improved but in the meantime i hope you guys can appreciate that this is just so whimsical and makes the bag so much more fun and lastly i am considering getting a bag organizer for this mini evelyn just based on other youtubers reviews and recommendations let me know if you have a mini evelyn do you recommend me getting an organizer or do you feel it's unnecessary because of how small it is the other thing to keep in mind is I guess the perforated H would look cuter, especially in a pop of color and it peeking through. So that's my special surprise Hermes unboxing and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned and subscribe for more Hermes unboxings to come, as well as comparisons and review videos. But before you go, check out my other Hermes unboxing that's currently on my channel because it definitely has some hard to find goodies and some eye candy that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Send this video to a fellow Lux lover. I appreciate you all and I will see you next time. Bye.